I've got my hiking straps actually lashed in the boat uh, and attached to these saddles rather than them being screwed in as it shows on the planks. This allows me to uh, easily remove these hiking straps um, at any time without having to undo any screws uh, and place them, repair them and a little bit of adjustment too on the length. What I've also got here is I've got a saddle that sits on the back of the centre case. This saddle is used for a few things. One of the things I do have on here is I have a very small bungee. It's just a loop. It goes around this hiking strap on this side and feeds through quite easy to the hiking strap on the other side. All that's doing is holding these hiking straps a little way off the floor just so that you can get your foot underneath them a bit easier because the hiking straps actually have to be of a length that uh, you could stand on them and they're going to hit the floor. If they're suspended off the floor and you stand on them, they're going to go like a swing and trip you over in the boat. Also coming off this saddle, I have one lanyard here, which comes to my bailer. Um, you can get these at any supermarket, the milk comes free with them. And uh, I've got to have another lanyard which is coming up here and ties onto my centre board. I've actually got a clip on here and a small saddle at the top. You will notice the lanyard's at a certain length, so I can't actually move the centre board out of the centre slot uh, because this lanyard will stop you. This is quite good if you turn completely upside down or you capsize your boat. You know your centre board is not going to come out and be floating all over the place and causing you a problem. Also sitting on the saddle is the bungee that holds the centre board in place. So that comes around through this piece of uh, hosing that I've got in the front here and that pulls the centre board to the back and gives me the tension. The alternative is here is that you can take the bungee through from the front here and pull on the back of the board. This will pull your board forward 30 millimeters and change the point of your uh, lateral resistance. The main sheet block we're using is a ratchet one. So as I pull it, you can hear the ratchet working. It means that the block only smoothly runs one way. It provides 10 to 1 resistance. So uh, if you've got uh, 2 kilos pulling on this end of the line, it can resist 20 kilos pulling on the main sheet on the other side of the block. Quite good for kids, makes it a little bit easier to hold on in hard weather. On the end of my main sheet, I have a number 8 knot. It's a very common stopper knot. On my rear deck here I have the uh, downhaul line. This comes out of the rudder and we pull on that to pull our rudder down. And here it's just cleated off into this V-cleat. This is a special little V-cleat in that it's a uh, auto-release. If the rudder hits the ground as we come in, it'll actually uh, pull quite hard on here and uh, the front end of the cleat here will actually release, tip up and we'll tip it out. That's just a little safety feature we've put on our boats. Reason being that if you come in and it hits otherwise, then the line is actually pulling uh, quite hard down into this um, v cleat and uh, especially the kids would find that quite hard to pull it away so this way it'll just kick itself out um, but in normal use it will hold it down there quite quite well and here's our van our van line is going through the v cleat on the mast step here goes through the plate on the bottom of the mast comes up through the saddle on the end of the boom and comes back down and is tied onto this plate with a bowline. This again gives us a two to one purchase. What I've done here is just I've used a little clip at the top end here which makes it a little bit easier to get this just off and on so I don't need to re-thread it and tie my bowline each and every time. So there's our boat rigged up and here we have a little bit of wind and you can see a nice sail shape on there. One thing I just wanted to show you here was the takeoff angle here of the main sheet now we're close hauled. Uh, when we're close hauled we're looking to try to get that uh, boom over the corner. And one thing you will notice is that 
uh, because the way this boat operates um, and in any boat there are times where you're trying to set the sail shape by putting tension on that leech now some guys will do this with the kicker um, but here as you pull on more tension and we'll just release it and come on so you see the boom coming in the other thing that happens because of this takeoff angle is the boom is actually getting pulled down and it's doing the job of what some people might use a bang to do so it's getting a bit lively here she's nearly sailing away so getting that takeoff angle from the main sheet up to the boom is quite important to get that uh, tension or that spread of that tension both pulling the boom in and pulling the boom down to get your sail shape um, obviously the tighter you have your bridle the more your block is going to move to the outward side of the boat the looser you have your bridle the more the blocks going to be to the inside of the boat the more the blocks to the outside of the boat the more pull down it's going to have for the pull in the more it's going to be in the middle of the boat the more pull in it's going to have compared to the pull down.